Welcome. So this came in today and this is a CD-ROM drive, an external CD-ROM drive that I bought off of eBay for one single euro. The shipping was four euros fifty, I think. So for five euros, I got this CD-ROM drive. And this is meant to be a PCMCIA CD-ROM drive. It has, one, it has one special trick up its sleeve, which I thought was interesting. I don't have the PCMCIA adapter to go with this, but that's not the point. I think inside here is an IDE drive, so I can use this with my um, Amiga 1200 build from the last or well, some of the uh, previous videos. Um, and I can use a case, and since the case has pretty much the Amiga color, I can put in here whatever I desire. So let's crack this thing open and take a look inside. Before we open this, let's check what this message says, because the seller put on this message here. It's in German, so I will translate on the fly pretty much. Yeah, watch me. About the history of this device. I was in the US from 1969 to 1999 and had a laptop without a CD-ROM drive. In 1997, I bought this external one, but didn't use it much since I got a new laptop with a CD-ROM drive in 1998. Have fun with this. Yeah, so thank you very much to the seller. And this thing is called the CD Traveler PC card. And it's a 40 times max CD-ROM drive. Has some interesting buttons here. And it's the first CD-ROM drive I see which has rocker buttons instead of the wheel to control the volume. It has a little LED down here for power and if it doesn't have enough power, more on that in a minute, it has a play button and an eject button. And it's from EXP and there are different drives like this. I checked eBay and I found a few. And this is the EXP PCMCIA CD-ROM drive. And as you can see, it takes eight AA batteries or the external power adapter but this thing can be powered with batteries and it's the only CD-ROM I know that can be powered by batteries but I just noticed there's something missing and that is the battery connectors so I assume that whoever had this before because there's missing a screw took out all of the battery connector. So no battery connection for this one. But still interesting to see. I was looking for the correct adapter, but it's, I think, for an IBM ThinkPad, if you can get it. So um, I have an IBM ThinkPad, but I don't need an external CD-ROM for that. So I will just crack this open and we will take a look inside. I hope and hopefully this is an IDE drive and hopefully this thing still works. So first problem, you need a very long screwdriver to get in there because I think these are the drive screws and these are the case screws here. So let me check. I have this super cheapo thingy and that actually goes in there. Ah, the fine cracking noise of brittle plastics in the morning. It's morning here, by the way. Okay, let's see. This does the trick. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Ah. And five. Yeah, nice. Half of the drive came with it. Let's take a peek inside the CD Traveler. PC card. Yeah, that lifts off nicely. And this is a model 40T. Good to know. Yeah, it is screwed in here. Let's unscrew this. So let's see what we have. So this does indeed. Does it look like an IE drive? 
Let me see. Yeah, I think this is an ID drive. Nice. So let's clip the uh, audio connector and the power connector. So this is what we have. Host interface, audio out, digital analog, blah, blah, blah. Uh, slave master and DG, whatever that might be, and the power connector. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So, so this should be standard CD-ROM drive. It doesn't say IDE anywhere on this, I think, or does it? That might be because back in the day, most CD-ROM drives actually were IDE, but I spot an inconsistency in the documentation, my friends. This note said that he bought this drive in 1996, but this drive is from November of 1998. Yeah, so how can that be? I don't know. Uh, but it is like it is. Um, I don't remember anything from that time, mostly. Don't know about you. If there at some point was actually a connection to the battery compartment, I can't see where it connected. I think this is just a, a case they used and that this thing didn't have any kind of battery compartment to begin with. Ah, or maybe, or did it? Because here is a little pin header and it says black and red and that might actually be the place to connect the battery compartment. Yeah, other than that we have an LED which is right here and we have all the power connectory thingies and stuff here. Yeah, looks like a standard CD-ROM drive and this could be a nice uh, case if you put one of these um, five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch adapters, you could um, put a disk drive in here with a grease weasel and have a very nice grease weasel-y grease weasel thing, you know? Yeah, so this drive will make its uh, appearance in one of the later videos and you will see this again in some kind of build, I think. And I will remove this EXP thing because I think it belongs here. But I don't need it and I will test this, this drive of course to see if it actually works. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and as always until next time like, subscribe and all the usual stuff. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Retro is the New Black. If you are new to the channel please like and subscribe. If you like the video please share. Every like, share and comment helps a lot. Until next time, bye bye.